Hey guys, what's up? So this is my Tyro, Tyro 99, and uh, this drone has like really two kind of big problems. You know, it's $99. You get everything for $99. I did a video about it. I think it flies pretty good. I like it. It's not crazy powerful, but it's powerful enough for me. Two big problems with this drone. One, the camera that they give you with this thing is 100% total garbage. It is terrible. You, you, and I just recorded some DVR footage, and I'll show you that now. And you can see it's just like you, you have a bright anything bright in the frame at all, and everything else just turns almost like black and purple blue. You can't see it. Uh, low. <clears throat> I guess it's just got one of the worst dynamic ranges I've ever seen. It's just a total junk camera. I have no idea what's in here. I had, and I don't think it's the same, I had a wizard for a while that came with an Isheen camera, and I don't remember it being this bad. Maybe it was. This camera works fine as long as you're out in full daylight. You really wouldn't know. It's still a little blurry. It's not very sharp, and, and it's not that great. But it does, you can use it. But if you get in the dark, well, hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Cat. This is Mr. B. If you get in the dark, it's terrible. So, over here, I have a fix. Excuse me, Cat. I bought a, I bought a Cat-X, Cat-X Rattel. Cat X Retail. It was a, a $38 FPV camera, but it was on sale for $28. I got it on Amazon for $28, and that was like, I didn't even know I was really getting it that cheap. Uh, so this is a 1200 TVL, so it's you know pretty high resolution, even though I don't think that really matters on H FPV analog single signals. Um, it's supposed to be a starlight camera, and uh, since the days are getting shorter, and you know, after I, I tend to get home, it's dark by the time I get home now. So it would be kind of nice to have something I can fly around in the dark. So I'm going to put this in and we'll compare it. I know this is a good camera. I've watched a lot of videos about it. It seems to be a lot of people's favorite camera right now. So uh, we'll check it out. I thought that was going to be easy. <laughs> it, I thought it would take me 10-15 minutes to install the camera. It took, it took over an hour because the Cat X comes with a little adapter thing, but not like to adapt it up to a full size camera. And the geniuses who designed this frame designed it so that you can really only fit a full size camera. A full size camera has the mounting screws in the very back of the camera so that it kind of projects forward from those mounting screws. And then these micro mini cameras, the <coughs> mounting screws are more in the middle, so it barely fits. I did happen to have a Cadex. A lot of Cadex cameras, they'll come with a little adapter that brings up to full size and puts the mounting holes back where they need to be. So I was able to get it in with that. It's really tight. It's pushing against the, the actual adapter is pushing against the um, uh, s things you plug in, the, the plugs into the uh, flight controller, but I think it'll be okay. So. Um, we got sunset here. I was going to be flying about two hours ago or an hour ago, and now it's like probably 15 minutes from sunset. So I'm going to get some flying in before it gets too dark. But with this starlight camera, I should be able to fly almost in the dark, right? We'll see. Well, as soon as I plugged in and started flying this camera, I was stunned by how sharp it looked. I've been at the cemetery a few times, and the detail on the gravestones was just incredible. I could actually read names on the gravestones. I could see details on the trees a lot more clear. And besides that, just the color was really good. And this sunset, you know, it was pretty low. And um, a lot of cameras, when you turn into the sun like that, the ground, everything's going to just turn black. But with this, it, you know, it really didn't matter which direction I was facing. I would be facing the sun or facing away from the sun. And the ground stayed the same value so that's great i mean this camera was awesome and uh you know rattel uh, just whatever they've got going on if you look at the sensor size inside the camera take the lens out and look at the sensor size it's twice the size of the camera i replaced if not bigger
it may have been a hassle to put on but it was worth it i have never experienced i mean you know i've never used the new dj dji hd system but i have never experienced such a clear and just incredibly like vibrant flight i mean it was so sharp and clear i'm flying around the cemetery and i can actually read tombstones through my fpv camera um the camera that come on this is like one percent of this i mean you could as dark as it is right now i wouldn't even be able to see stuff anyway like as soon as it turned anywhere in the direction of the western horizon everything would just turn black and purple so um the tyro 99 is terrible with the camera that it comes with and i think it's pretty awesome with this i mean it's i can tell i haven't tuned it i haven't you know i haven't checked the tunes i haven't checked the pids it's a little jittery when it's doing prop wash making sharp turns you know um and it doesn't have the crazy liftoff power that some of my other drone has but it does i haven't even changed these props yet and most people say they suck and you know it's got hell it's got one damaged one right here i need to replace so that was an awesome flight so guys this is like 10 15 minutes later and it was really almost dark by this point and again just clear no problem i could have probably fly several more batteries but it was getting too cold to uh keep flying so guys rat tail camera right now i'm sold on it uh it's well worth the price if you need a, a camera um you know, if, you've, if you're used to high-end cameras, it may not blow you as way as much as I, I was, but uh, I was really impressed. So thanks for watching. See you later.